Very good Monday morning. I'm NTV Chief Meteorologist Eddie Shear with you. This is your Newfoundland and Labrador weather briefing for Monday, August 4th, 2014. As of 9.15 a.m., Mother Nature definitely has some tricks up her sleeve for us today. Going to be a nice day across the island, a mix of sun and cloud. Slight chance of showers east of Gander this afternoon, as you can see here from the RGEM model showing some of those showers cropping up should not be as heavy as they were last night i don't think we'll see any lightning with these also a chance of showers today into labrador west temperatures are going to be a bit tricky uh, winds actually will shift from west to east throughout the day so areas along the northeast and east coastlines will actually see a sea breeze developing this afternoon so temperatures this morning and early afternoon in the 20s by the evening looks like temperatures falling back into the teens that does include Metro St. John's into Labrador today looking at generally teens to 20 on the coast 20s inland some teens as well back toward Labrador City Wabush area uh, but overall should be a pretty nice day through the northern half of the province with a slight chance of some afternoon showers and thunder showers tomorrow is also looking pretty nice and then we'll sort of shift gears and just look at Wednesday's forecast in St. John's that's the Royal St. John's regatta and here's the forecast for that Starts in the morning, temperatures in the teens by the afternoon, partly cloudy. Temperature right around 21 degrees should be a nice day for that. Winds are southerly 20 to 40. That could be the biggest fly in the ointment, but as of now, it looks like the regatta should go on as forecast. So those of you playing regatta roulette Tuesday night, I think the odds are pretty good, but uh, something we'll just have to keep a very close eye on as we go toward Wednesday. The reason for that is this, Tropical Storm Bertha winds right now 110 kilometers per hour just east of the Florida coastline. Winds are gusting to 140, moving north at 26 kilometers per hour, 350 kilometers east of Great Abaco or Abaco Island. Uh, the forecast for Bertha has shifted a bit over the last few days. Basically, the guidance now is taking it farther and farther west toward Newfoundland. Uh, this is Google Earth now showing the forecast track from the National Hurricane Center based out of Miami, Florida. These guys are usually pretty good. And the storm will actually main get to hurricane strength when it's west of Bermuda within about 36 hours. As a Category 1 storm, wind 65 knots, 75 miles per hour, gusting up to 90 miles per hour. But it looks like as the storm quickly accelerates, and this is 72 hours east of Nova Scotia. Winds are 65 miles per hour back to tropical storm status, gusting up to 75, which is one mile above hurricane, one mile an hour above hurricane status. But basically, the Avalon Peninsula and the eastern part of the Buren Peninsula are in the cone of uncertainty. So this is valid 2 a.m. Thursday morning. So the storm should still be well south of Newfoundland early Thursday, late Wednesday night. So again, the regatta should go on as scheduled. And then it will be past the island, it looks like, early Friday morning. So the biggest impacts look like they will be during the day on Thursday. Now notice how the Hurricane Center has the track east of the Avalon Peninsula. Many, many computer models have actually taken the track farther west. And what I can show you now is actually some spaghetti plots of computer models. So it's basically taking a whole bunch of different computer models and showing you their tracks all on one screen. So each one of these lines is a computer model forecast. So the black line that we can see here, that I know it's a bit hard to see. This is the National Hurricane Center forecast. Notice how most of the guidance, all these spaghetti plots are west of that track. In fact, many of them are either over the Eastern Avalon we're over eastern central Newfoundland. If this track ends up coming to fruition, and again, this would be late Wednesday night through Thursday, much of Newfoundland would see very heavy rain from the remnants of Tropical Storm Bertha. If the track goes up the Buren Peninsula, the Avalon would see gusty winds in the uh, probably 40 to 50 knot range, maybe a little bit less, but certainly within uh, Tropical Storm Force because the strongest winds are often on the eastern side of a tropical low. So again, if the low center goes up west of the Buren, or on the Buren Peninsula, the Avalon is on the windy side of the storm, not so much the rainy side of the storm. If the track is farther east, which a lot of guidance is clustered around that track either, as well I should say, uh, the Avalon Peninsula would then see more in the way of heavy rain, and the wind would be limited to offshore. 
So it's something we're going to keep a very close eye on either way. It looks like we are in for a bit of heavy rain, which is very, very greatly needed. Uh, that would be, again, Wednesday night into Thursday, perhaps uh, up to over 50 millimeters in some spots, maybe even 75 millimeters or more, and some gusty winds. So this is something we're going to watch very closely as we go into Wednesday night and Thursday. But as of now, again, it looks like the St. John's Regatta should not be affected by Tropical Storm Bertha. But it's something I'll have to keep a very close eye on, and I certainly will. You can find me on social media, at Eddie Shear on Twitter, meteorologist Eddie Shear on Facebook, and I will see you tonight on NTV starting at 5.30 on First Edition, and then during the award-winning NTV Evening News Hour between 6 and 7 o'clock. Have a great day.